Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine. So, let's get right to it. Uh, never mind. Let's get right to it. So first thing you need to do is download VMware or VirtualBox and install it. VMware Player, because workstation is paid. I'll put a card up for this and a link in the description if you can't use cards. Go ahead and accept it. Uh, I do recommend the enhanced keyboard driver because it improves keyboard performance quite a bit. And laggy keyboards kinda suck. Alright, so now that VMware is done, we're gonna install the Windows 10 installation media. Alright, go ahead and click the card or the link in the description to download this. It says here, to get started you will need a license to install Windows 10. I'll actually be making another video which will let you be able to activate Windows 10 without a license for free. Alright, so uh, once this is done you can uh, go ahead and open it up. Alright, this part will take just a bit. Up that, who cares about reading it? Alrighty, so now you're gonna be uh, creating an ISO. This part you should uh, leave as is. Um, you'll wanna choose ISO file. The reason you're using an ISO is because you'll be putting it in VMware later. Alright, you'll probably wanna save this on somewhere with a lot of space, like a hard drive, because this takes up 5 gigabytes, which is a lot of space. Windows 10 1909 This part will take a while depending on your internet speed, so I'll be back in a little while. It's finally done! Uh, you actually don't need to burn it to a DVD. You can just go ahead and click finish. And now that everything is installed, we can get to creating the VM. So we'll open up VMware Player and create a new virtual machine. Uh, make sure you use the right ISO file and hard drive space. 60s probably good. Here we go. Make sure to press any key as soon as you can, because if you don't, that'll happen. Uh, since there's no OS on the hard drive, it has nothing to boot from, so you get to press it quickly, so it boots from the ISO. Ooh, that's a little laggy, huh? That doesn't matter. It's just the installation. Um, I'm going to be installing Windows 10 Pro. Right. Um, click you don't have a product key because chances are you don't.
and now it's going to install Windows. Now it's going to restart once. Finally at the setup, which means we're almost done. Uh, you definitely want to set it up for personal use. I mean, unless you actually do need to set it up for an organization use. I'm going to actually go ahead and use an offline account because. Yeah, there definitely are advantages, but, you know, I don't have time for that. Leave me alone. And here we are. Well, we're actually not done yet. So now we install VMware Tools because it greatly increases the performance of your virtual machine. What's up with that? Oh, is it on light mode? Why is the taskbar light but the... Oh yeah, okay, it's on light mode. First thing I'm doing is changing it to dark mode. Oh. We need to activate Windows. Okay, we'll talk about that in a bit. I like the wallpaper. I'm, I'm just going to keep it like that. VMware Tools does not take very long to install, which is good. Uh, uh, why would this be here? Here we have it guys, we're done. But there's one last thing I want to go over. Windows is not activated. So, in the next video, I will show you guys how to activate Windows for free using KMS Pico. So that's it, goodbye.